Come close, come close. Come close, come close at the back there. Come well, my name's Stuart Alexander, and uh, I play the part of a character called Sir John de Hevingham. Are you well? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure you're sure? Yes. I help the children understand the history of Carisbrook. So we play a, a game outside, a game called Know Your Job, Know Your Place. So in a moment, each of you will get a job card. So you've got to arrange yourself in the right order of importance. So you'd start off with the Lord of the Castle, Lord and Lady being right at the top, being the most important. And we go down through the various jobs, ending up with the the gong farmer, uh, the poo collector, uh, which doesn't seem to go down very well at all. If I had a choice between Sir John and the teachers, I'd pick Sir John because he explained more information. It was fun. They're very big. They are very, very big. You're not talking about me. OK? Beyond people, uh, we look at the idea of protection, how a castle was about protecting the land that the Lord the lady owned, but mainly the focus is on the weapons, the armour. But anyone know why it's called a crossbow? No, it's because it's angry. So we have an understanding then about what sort of weapons were used, how they were used, different strategies used, how the soldiers, the men at arms, protected their castle. We'll go through steel. Uh, it was really good to see all the students try on different costumes, getting engaged and involved above and beyond uh, a normal visit here. I think um, it's going to really enhance their learning in the classroom. We have a look at one particular story that happened here back in 1377 when the French, they wanted to get into the castle so we do a big reenactment and I get a couple of volunteers out, one to be the villain of the piece, the French commander, and one to be the hero. And they shoot at the poor French commander who dies heroically and uh, a much fun to be had when we do that. I enjoyed it, it was very fascinating and it was quite historic.